let's take a look at how to calculate Kanban card counts if we have multiple products on a machine with setup times. And we're going to use this example here. We have a molding machine that produces three products and every day we have two eight hour shifts, so 16, 16 hours available per day. And our first product, we call that P1, has a daily demand of 150 units. P2 has a daily demand of 270 units and P3 a demand rate of 100 units per day. The process time is going to be one minute per unit, but if we want to switch from one product to another, there will be a changeover time and the changeover time will be 45 minutes. And then we're going to work with Kanban size or container quantity of 10 units. So it's going to be the same for each product. And so this 10 is our container quantity or our transfer batch size. Now let's look at our formula for the Kanban card count. We need to know the daily demand rate in terms of number of container quantities. We have that. Then we need to know waiting time and process time. And then we're going to inflate things with a safety factor. Now, process time is easy, that's one minute per unit, or 10 minutes per container quantity. But what about waiting time? Well, waiting time is much more complicated, because waiting time will consist of two elements. First, um, there's going to be waiting time until we reach a minimum batch size. Well, why is that? Well, because of the setups. Because of the setups, there will be a minimum batch size for each of the products, and that may correspond to more than one Kanban card. So sometimes we'll have to wait until we have two or three or even more Kanban cards before we're allowed to produce because we need to reach a minimum batch size. So that waiting time to reach minimum batch size will be the first part of our waiting time. And then second, even if there are enough Kanban cards available to start producing, maybe we're going to be producing other products first and so then the waiting time will be i'm waiting in the queue in front of the machine with my Kanban cards uh, available but first other products are being processed so that's the second element of waiting time okay first thing we therefore need is what are these minimum batch sizes well then we take a look at how many setups we can do because remember we want to do as many setups as possible because that results in smaller batch sizes and we want the batch sizes to be as small as possible. How much time do we have for processing? Well, we have 16 hours per day, that's 960 minutes. How much time do we need for processing? Well, that's one minute per unit and we have a daily demand of 150, 270 and 100, so a total of 520 minutes that we need for processing. And then 960 available minutes minus the 520 that we need is 440 minutes that are left over. And those we can use for the changeovers. So if we divide 440 minutes, that's the available time that we have in one day for doing changeovers by 45 minutes, then that means we can do 9.78 changeovers or setups in one day. Well, of course, we have to round that down because if we do more than 9.78, there's not enough time in our day. So that means we have 3.26 or three setups per product per day. And that will also give us our batch sizes. So if we know for product one, daily demand is 150 units, we divide that by three setups per day, then that means we have to make 50 units at a time. And 50 units is five container quantities, so our minimum batch size is five Kanban cards. For product two, 270, so we divide that by three, that's 90, and that's nine Kanban cards. And for product three, uh, 33 units per batch, 100 divided by three setups per day, giving us uh, three Kanban cards that we need. Okay, so now we know this, we can calculate the card count for product one. We know its minimum batch size is five Kanban cards, and we know the process time is well, 10 minutes per container quantity. Right, so 
what is the waiting time, what is the processing time for part one? Processing time is easy. If you start processing it, well, first you need 45 minutes for the setup, and then you're going to make one container. So one CQ, one Kanban amount, that's 10 units uh, in our case, so 10 minutes. So processing time is 55 minutes. And so as soon as you start producing part one, 55 minutes later, the first container quantity with the first Kanban card allocated or attached to it leaves your system. Now, what about waiting time? Waiting time, well, we'll be a bit pessimistic. We'll consider the worst case waiting time. And if we consider the worst case waiting time, then we'll know that we'll have enough Kanban cards to cover it. Okay, now, waiting time has two parts. Waiting for the minimum batch size, and then waiting for the other products to be processed. First element, waiting to get to the minimum batch size. Well, if you assume that the first Kanban card uh, arrives at the Kanban wall, well, then you have to wait for minimum batch size minus one other Kanban cards to arrive. So that means, in our example, for product one with a minimum batch size of five, we have to wait for four other Kanban cards to arrive for product one before we can start processing. Now, four Kanban cards, that's 40 units, and we have a daily demand rate of 150 per day. So the waiting time to get to the minimum batch size is 40 150th of a day or 256 minutes. Then, second part is waiting time if other products would be produced first. So even if the fifth Kanban card has finally arrived and we could start making it, it could happen that we first make product two and then product three before we finally make product one. So again, that's worst case, that's the longest possible waiting time we could have. So what would the waiting time be? Well, if we want to make product two first, that's a setup of 45 minutes. And if we make product two, it has a minimum batch size of nine container quantities, so 90 units, that's 90 minutes. So that's a total of 135 minutes that we have to wait until product two has been processed. And then for product three, with its batch size of three container quantities, if that is being produced, it takes 75 minutes. So the total waiting time for product one is first waiting time on the wall to reach the minimum batch size of 256 minutes, and then waiting time for production of product two and three, which is another 135 and 75 minutes. And then we have all the numbers we need. We have the AD or uh, average daily demand rate. We have the container quantity. And if we divide those, we have the flow rate that we need. If we then sum waiting time and processing time, we have the flow time that we need, and the product of those two gives us the number of Kanban cards, and then we inflate that a bit and we round it up to cover for variability. So in this example, if we fill in the numbers and use uh, 0 0.15 as the safety factor, we get to a card count of 9.36. And of course, we round that up, and then we found that we need 10 Kanban cards for product one. And then I leave it as an exercise to you to calculate the number of common cards you need for product two and product three.